Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Abundant Faith Church. Come on, put your hands together. If you're glad to be in the house of the Lord, come on, put those hands together. If you came to worship God today, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a beautiful spirit that we already feel in the house of the Lord. Amen. God just moved so wonderfully in the adult Bible class, and I really believe God's going to do great things. How many came expecting God to do something great for somebody today? Come on, how many came to see God do something great for someone today? Amen. If you are a first-time visitor, we welcome you here. We're glad that you're here. We want you to feel right at home, and we also invite you back to come back and be a part of what God is doing in Abundant Faith Church. Amen. God bless you today. I'm going to ask Brother Daniel Vales to come at this time, and uh, he's going to kind of go over a little bit with what we uh, talked about last week. We have changed. We have a brand new website that looks amazing, so thankful for that. And um, when you go to that website, there's a new way to give. We are no longer uh, uh, giving through PayPal. We're giving through uh, an app and a program called Tithely. And he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Amen. So give him your undivided attention. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Brother Daniel Vales today. Well, we are so excited. Our new website did go out this week. So many of you guys have gone to that. Uh, we've seen traction on that. We've seen you guys set up your giving. So we want to thank you. But we want to go over it again just to show you. First. So the first slide up here again is our new website. So it's a new look, and, and you don't have to just go here for giving. We have other things here. You can direct different people here. If somebody asks about our church, things like that, feel free to direct them to our website. We have all kinds of different great information about us, the ministries, the sermons will be up there, the videos, things like that. So we're excited for that. But if you do want to give, you'll click right where that arrow says to give. So if we'll go to that next slide, it will look like this. It will say, you know, your generosity. We appreciate that. And then you can click Give Online now. Once that's clicked, if you haven't already created a login, you'll be able to do that still. So you can still create a login, save your payment details, things like that. Now, I just want to kind of stop and uh, talk about some of the fees, things like that. So before, we used a product called PayPal. Many people are familiar with PayPal, no PayPal, things like that. With PayPal... We, the church was charged processing fees. Anywhere you go to swipe your card, your debit card, credit card, somebody's paying processing fees. Whether it's the restaurant, whether it's the store, you know, you're, that's included in the pricing, things like that. Anywhere you swipe your card or use your card, there is processing fees. The credit card companies have to make their money somehow. That's how they do it. So with PayPal, it just took it out from the church. The church took the, the hit. Um, and, and each year, the money went more and more and more in fees. And we just, of course, as a church, nonprofit, it's not good to be paying that much in fees. And it's just, it's just not fun. We don't like that option. We don't like them sticking fees to us, things like that. So once you create your login, things like that, there is the option to pay. And there's a couple things here. You can set up a credit card or debit card, or you can connect to your bank account. If you're worried about the fees, things like that, um, if you're wanting to cover the fees or not, the, the ACH bank account is only 1%. So it's only a 1% charge, things like that. Not much at all when you're talking about giving, things like that. So you can set it directly from your bank account, and it will save that, things like that. So with that being said, once you sign in, once you create your account, you'll be able to give. If you want to give to multiple funds, you can. You can choose your card or bank. And then option number three is donor cover fees. This is not a requirement. We're not saying, hey, if you're going to give to Abundant Faith, you better cover those fees. It's just an option that, that's added in there, something that PayPal didn't have for us. So it's an option to cover those fees. If you do choose to cover those fees, you get full tax credit when it comes to statement time. So if you cover your, all your fees for the year, that's going to be the entire amount you've given is always what you're going to get credit for. Even if you don't cover it, we're still going to give you a full credit by IRS laws, we like to follow regulations around here. So we want to make sure you get the full credit for no matter what you do. But we just want to kind of show you guys that if you have any questions about giving, I know some people have reached out. Feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you. Um, I don't have to know who you're giving. I don't look at your giving, things like that. But I want to make sure you feel comfortable setting up your account, giving. And we just want to reiterate the fees. If you're worried about processing fees, because it does show you what it's being charged. That's something that it shows you if you do the covered fees. It shows you what those fees are. If you don't want to do your bank account, you can do ACH. If you don't want to cover it, that's okay. We just want to give you options to give to our church and help bless our church and help our community, things like that. So with that being said, somebody shout giving.
We appreciate you guys giving. We appreciate you guys looking at our website. Continue to check it out as we add more to that. But with that being said, somebody say, God bless Brother Ferguson. Praise the Lord, everybody. There is absolutely nothing as exciting as working in the kingdom of God. Amen. We are blessed to be here today. The Lord has been moving in this place already. God is just doing great things, and I am just thankful that he's allowed me to be a part of it. There's always a lot of announcements, so make sure you don't miss these. This Wednesday, there will be no Next Steps class. No Next Steps class this Wednesday. There will be a Ministers in Training class, MIT class. So you you need to pray about that and, and consider whether or not you need to be here for that because it's going to be exciting and you're going to, going to learn a lot of fantastic things. So this Wednesday, no Next Steps. MIT class. All right, ladies, if you're interested in going to ladies' conference, you need to meet immediately over by the keyboard after service today. So go into ladies' conference. When service is over, come over here and meet and get all that good information that you're going to want to know about to be a part of that. Next Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning next Sunday, choir practice. So if you are in the choir, put that on your schedule right now that you need to be here at 10 o'clock in the morning next Sunday. Also, we want to look down the road just a little bit. Uh, we are going to have our anniversary services in August, okay? Now, you may be used to that being in a different month, but it will be in August for a lot of reasons because April is busy and also because we moved into this building last August. Can you, can you believe we are talking about having an anniversary service for this building? My goodness, God's good to us. Praise the Lord. So, so keep that in mind coming in August that we're going to have that service. All kinds of wonderful things going on. And most importantly, Jesus is here. Yes. And the things that are probably going to happen in the next hour or so are going to be more important than anything I just read. But you want to be involved in the announcements anyway. Amen. Praise God. We're going to take up our offering. So if the ushers would go ahead and, and come right now. Praise God. We are always blessed to give to the work of the Lord. Make an announcement. Let me make an announcement that makes me very happy. And, and, and be care i got to be careful how I say that because I'm very happy that my family is not here with me today. Because last Wednesday, we had a family member that, that came for the, for the kids' crusade, and, and Ramsey was filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues, in kids' crusade. So my family's all watching her get baptized at her church this morning because God's just doing great things all over the place. Listen, Wednesday, hey, kids' crusade, you need to be there. 7 o'clock, you need to be there for those kids, all right? Praise God. Let's, let's, let's pray our statement of faith if you'd stand with me. Upon the authority of your word I have given, and it shall be given to me, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I am a tither. I bring my tithe today into your storehouse. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked, and the curse is broken. I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, bills paid, yes, debts yes. demolished. Most importantly, my whole family saved and walking with God. Perfect health and abundance increase to walk in divine favor and blessing. I am blessed going in, and I am blessed coming out. And all that I do, I will prosper in Jesus' name. Bring your offering right now.
that Brother Bollinger and Brother Kuzman come up here. They're going to help us pray this morning. All right. We are going to pray. You know, today, Brother Brother Maroney was preaching, and just, man, what a powerful move of God. And I was thinking, I was reminded of a story. There was a, a great piano player, uh, a very famous, well-known piano player that was in New York City to, to perform. And as he was there getting ready in this great hall, this great venue he, that he was at, uh, he had some time before the performance. So he took a walk down to, to, uh, to, to the area that he was going to be at, and he began to look around. He saw a, a much smaller hall connected to the building where he was performing at, and he, he saw something was going on, and he, he stepped inside of this hall to see an elementary school performing their, their different instruments, an elementary school. And he sat down in a seat about the time a first grader got up there and began to play the piano. And this man had been playing the piano for, for years and years and years and was considered one of the greatest piano players of all time. And as he sat and listened to this first grader, every note was just a little off and he kind of cringed. And, 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 and everything about it was just, just not quite right and it just kind of went through him. And he, it, it bothered him because he knew how it should sound and he knew how perfect it could be and how it should be. And he, he just, it just he couldn't deal with it. But he noticed that while he was listening, there, there was a, a dad taking pictures. And this dad was, was so excited about what was going on in his piano. And, and, and the longer this guy listened, the more it bothered him because it just wasn't right. It was never right. She kept missing it. And, and, and as it would happen is when it was all done, she came and they sat down right next to this piano player. And the dad came and sat down right there with his little first grader. And, and he began to tell her how great it sounded and how wonderful she had done and how amazing it was. And the, and the guy sitting there kind of rolling his eyes and like, was you listening to what I was listening to? Well, see, the, the problem was that little girl wasn't performing for this profession. It didn't, sound, it didn't matter how it sounded to anybody else because when her father heard her, listen, you may realize that you need forgiveness today or deliverance today or healing today, and your prayer may not sound like Brother Maroney's prayer or Brother Bear's prayer, but when your father hears you call out to him, nothing else is going to matter. I guarantee you, Jesus is ready. It said he is ready to forgive. My, my. So if you're here today, we're going to take these knees to the Lord. But I want you to remember that Jesus is ready. My goodness, he's ready to forgive. We need to remember our lost family and friends and loved ones who need Jesus. Please remember Dan Dean. We also want to remember Sister Vales. We want to ask Sister Vales to come forward, and we're going to lay hands on her and pray for her. And God is going to move in that situation. Sister Vales, if you would come forward right now. While she's coming, let me also mention a few other needs. We have a lot of needs this morning because we know God can touch them. Please remember Sister Kuntzman struggling with back pain and inflamed muscles, and we know God can heal that. Please remember Mary Shaw. God is a healer. Amen. God is a healer. We also remember Jack Belcher this morning had a heart attack and is on life support. And we know God can heal. Amen. God can heal that. Amen. We're going to pray for Sister Vales this morning that God would touch her. And we're going to pray for these other needs. And we also want to remember Arthur Miller. And we're also going to do a, a, a prayer call for that as well. But right now, let's lift our hands. Let's take these needs before the Lord. I know God can hear and God can heal. Jesus, move in this place right now. Lord God, let your will be done. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall right now. God, we pray for Sister Vales that you would touch her. God, I speak healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we loose you to have your way, God. We lift these needs up to you. Lord, we come before you, God, for our family and for our friends and for our loved ones, God. We ask you, Jesus, to have your way, Lord. We ask you to move in these needs, Jesus. God, come into this place and forgive us of our sins. And heal us of our sicknesses. Heal us, God. Move in this place right now, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't we begin to call out to the Lord right now as they, as they pray over this prayer cloth. God can go and God can touch Arthur Miller right now in Jesus' name. If you have a need, listen. If you have a need in your body, come up here and they'll lay hands on you and they'll pray for you and you'll be healed and you can worship with us without pain, without sickness. You can be healed right now in the name of Jesus. One more time. Can we all lift our hands? Lord, we praise you. We worship you. Hallelujah, Jesus.
gonna sing a new song. Shout it out louder than before. Let the whole world sing. The whole world sing. Yeah. We love you, Lord. Bring the great news. Yeah, there is a plan. 
was rough this week, but hallelujah. I know there's sickness in your family, but hallelujah. You may not know how the bills are getting paid, but hallelujah. I've been struggling with my life, but Hallelujah. I've been battling with the enemy, but hallelujah. We need to let the devil know that whatever he throws at us, I'm going to shout hallelujah. me the Holy Ghost is in this room right now and I want to I know we're praying for people and I want to continue to do that I want brother Isaac I want brother Isaac Wyrick to come right now and I just want him to say something briefly I want him to testify because the last time you saw him Isaac had a scooter because he shattered his heel bones in his foot fracture whatever I want you to hear what God's done 
So last Sunday, I had a boot on. I couldn't put any pressure on my heel. I legit couldn't walk at all. You can ask anyone that was around me. If I had that boot off, there was no way I was walking. But I went to the doctor Tuesday. After last Sunday, I prayed for right there, actually. <laughs> after I got prayed for, I went to the bathroom. I took my boot off. And I started jumping around. <laughs> I had no pain at all. So I went to the doctor on Tuesday. And the doctor looked at me and said, I know there was a fracture in there last time. Last time we talked. But I looked at him and said, God healed me. That fracture's not in there anymore. And I want to be able to say that I can jump. I can praise God right now. I got no pain at all. God is good. He's so good. Come on, somebody. God's the healer. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. God can heal you right where you stand. There's an x-ray showing the fracture in the bone. It's documented. It was broken. My favorite four words to hear any physician say are these words right here. I can't explain it. I pray let the life of every individual in this room right now exemplify when you see your old friends. I pray they say, I can't explain it. I know what you used to be. I know how you used to act. I remember how you used to talk. But I, I, you look the same, but something's different. And maybe it's just this right here. God has done a good work in you. So you can look back at them and say, I, I got a praise. I got a praise and I'm kind of headed out. I got a praise. lady of faith that is dancing in the aisle right now for something that is yet to come. I wonder what else is going on in this place. Nobody told me about it. You haven't talked to the pastor about it. But you know there's a prognosis on its way to you and you don't like the sound of it. You don't like the look of it. The doctor's already told you it's not looking good. I wonder if you would step out in faith today and believe him for the miracle that is yet to come. I don't want you.
you to praise him for what he's done. I want you to praise him for what he's going to do. We know he can do it. We know he is able. We know he will. So we may as well just go ahead and love it for it right now. Say, I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I got to let it out. I got to praise. I, I got to praise. I gotta praise and I gotta do it now. Come on, lift him up, praise. lift him up, lift him up, say. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise and I gotta do it now. I gotta praise. There's more, there's more. I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise. He taught about Shagaya and Mahashata. Let the Spirit of the Lord move through this place right now in the name of Jesus. Do the work. Do the work. Something happens when 
yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say yes, Lord. There's some folks in this house, the devil has lied to you, told you that your miracle's not coming. That this praise break is for everybody else, but it ain't for you. But I've come to tell you that if you will step out of your comfort zone, and I feel this in the Holy Ghost, if you will step out of your comfort zone and just begin to praise the Lord, he is going to bring not eventual healing, but immediate healing into your situation right now. Come on, go. Come on, go, do it, do it. Step out in Jesus' name. Maybe you got to praise for your family. Maybe you ought to praise for yourself. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the situation is, but I wish somebody would open their mouth and shout, yes, Lord. Come on, open your mouth and say, yes. Open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody would get their shout on. I wish somebody would get their praise on. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He doesn't own you. He doesn't control you. You ought to praise God anyhow. If you're not ashamed, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. You can't stop my praise. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, come on, somebody Lord, ought to break loose let with me praise. See you stomp your feet. It's time for me to dance on the grave of my enemy. Lord, let me see you leap for joy. Hey! If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp. what the devil wants to do. The devil wants to cover up your praise. The devil wants to make you ashamed for your praise. But all I can tell you is this. If you have been through what I've been through, you would be praising him too. Come on. The devil can't cover up your praise. Somebody ought to just dance. Somebody ought to just shout. He has set you free. He's healed your body. of Jesus. I come against depression in the name of Jesus. I come against darkness in your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody's getting victory today. Somebody's walking out of here with
a victory today. Is it going to be you? Is it going to be you? doing a victory dance right now. Somebody ought to be doing a victory dance right now because you showed up bound, but you're going to leave free. You showed up bound, but you're going to leave delivered. You ought to be doing a victory dance right now. My, 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 my. Addiction doesn't hold me anymore. Darkness doesn't hold me anymore. Depression doesn't hold me anymore. Anxiety doesn't hold me anymore. I have been set free by the blood of Jesus. Something happens when I call your name. 
happens when I call your name. Something happens when I call your name. Something happens when I call your name. Nothing moves when I call your name. Whoever you're praying for, I want you to pray the prayer of faith name. over them right now. I want you to take authority and dominion over everything that would try to inhibit their life right now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that would try to inhibit their praise. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Speak it. I pray the prayer of faith. The Lord, the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come, come on, on and give the Lord the highest praise. deliverance in the house right now. Yay! Yeah, there's deliverance in the house. Come on, somebody's touching heaven right now. Somebody's touching heaven right now. Yay! Yeah. You don't even know what God is doing in this house. You don't even know what God is doing in this house. It's a mystery. But it ain't a mystery to God. Come on, everybody, lift your hands all over this house. And I want you to give. We're not done. Come on, we're not done. I want you to give God the highest praise. <laughs> lift your hands and praise Him. Lift your hands and praise the Lord. Come on, somebody, lift your voice. If he's ever given you a testimony, lift your voice. If he's ever touched your body, lift your voice. Come on, church. If he's ever saved your soul, lift your voice. If he's ever saved your marriage, lift your voice. If he's ever healed your body, my God. If he's ever defeated the enemy in your life, lift your voice. God is in this house. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. The power of God is in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Young and old alike are under the influence of the Holy Spirit right now. The reason why we shout. And the reason why we praise him is because when I didn't have nobody and when nobody else would help me, I should be lost. I should be undone. I should be broken for the rest of my life. But when the potter saw the clay, come on, somebody, he reached down and he said, I can do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Does anybody here, can you testify that you gave your life to the hands of the potter? Hey, hallelujah. Come on, somebody pray. I was broken. I was undone. I was lost. Some of you here today, you've got a testimony that you have not even shared yet. You've testified about hundreds of things in your walk with God, but you have a testimony that you've not even shared yet. All right. And the reason why you haven't shared it is because you don't know what it is yet. But what you have to understand is God has already written that story. God has already written that testimony. You may have pulled in the parking lot and thought, well, this is just another service. 
where I'm going to watch everybody else get blessed. But right now, God's blessing you. You can't figure out why. You don't feel right. You don't feel like that you even deserve it. But God said, I see you where you are. <laughs> Come on, I'm speaking in the Holy Ghost right now. I see you where you are. I see you where you're living. And I love you so much, I've come to bless you today. to Jesus. What I can't handle, I've got to give it to Jesus. I may not know much. I'm definitely not the sharpest tool in the shed. But I'm going to tell you this. I know there's only one reason why I'm alive and standing here in front of you today. And I will praise Him while I have any breath in my body. I will praise Him as long as I can as long as I can Lift my voice and lift my hands. I'm going to pray. Can I preach to somebody that it should never be that an apostolic church is dead? It should never be that an apostolic church is asleep. It should never be that we just look around and wonder what's going on. I'm going to tell you what's going on. It doesn't matter what works. It doesn't matter what doesn't work. It doesn't matter what our plan is. What matters is that there is a move of God. I want somebody to be delivered in the house. I want, come on, I feel the Holy Ghost. I want somebody to be baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody's over here speaking in tongues right now. Come on, somebody speaking in tongues right now. Hey, the Holy Ghost is being poured out right now. Come on, I want you to put your hands together like you're in love with Jesus. Cadence, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Let the Holy Ghost move on you. Let the Holy Ghost bless you. This is another one to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hey, listen. Wednesday night, after Bible study and kids crusade, most everybody went home, but they was having an altar call upstairs, and two kids received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. While everybody was leaving, they were getting the Holy Ghost. You know why? Because God doesn't care what time it is. God doesn't care what skin color you got. God doesn't care what your social background is. All God cares about is that you're open to receive from him. Go ahead, Cadence. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Lift your hands and pray right now. Lift your hands. The Holy Ghost is being poured out. Who else needs the Holy Ghost? Who else needs the healing in their body? My God, my God, my God, my God. Jesus. God, you're good. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, everybody just meditate on the goodness of God right now. Come on, worship him in your spirit. God, you're good too. children of Israel the children of Israel received deliverance because every day that they were under the bondage and the abuse of their task masters every day they cried out for a deliverance I'm in the Holy Ghost right You read numerous places in the Bible. When Hagar fled, the Lord heard the cry of the baby, the child. When the Lord hears your cry, can I tell somebody today that his ear is not deaf? 
to your cry. I'm speaking that in the Holy Ghost right now. The Lord hears every prayer you pray. He hears every argument you've ever had with Him. He hears every complaint you've ever uttered. God's heard that. And God hears your voice right now today. God, I'm tired of the struggle. God, I know there's deliverance in this house, and I need this deliverance you're giving today. With every eye closed in this place, I don't want anybody looking around. Nobody, please, please, nobody looking around. This is a very personal thing. I know we're public right now, but it's, this is a very personal thing. I need you to know. And this is very simple. But it's very powerful and very true. God has instructed me to tell you today that he has heard your cry. And today, your deliverance has come. He has heard your cry. And today, your deliverance has come. God is asking you to lift your hands right now and receive that deliverance in this place. Lift your hands right now. God, I receive it right now. If you want deliverance, if you don't want it, don't lift your hands. But if you want it, God's got it. Lord, I am broken. My life is in pieces. Come on, that's the Spirit Your of the Lord right now. Your strength is perfect in all my weakness. You can't touch me. Lord, I am broken. You want to heal me. is in pieces. Help me to believe it. Your strength is perfect in all my weakness. Come on, receive it, church. Receive it. Lord, Come on, lift your voice. Broken. Lift your voice. Let him talk to you. Heart is in pieces. <laughs> your strength is perfect <laughs> in all my weakness. <laughs> Come on, that's it. Cry out to him. He hears your cry. He's never not heard your cry. He's never not heard your voice. He's never turned a deaf ear to you.
much mercy. Lord, I am broken. Lord, I'm broken. Shattered in peace. Shattered in peace. Your strength is perfect in all of my weakness. Lord, I am broken. Lord, I'm broken. Shattered in pieces. But your strength is perfect. It's dried up. Come on, that's it. The Lord is moving in this place. Come on, let that wall down. Let that wall down. Lord, I am broken. broken. Shattered in pieces. But your strength is perfect in all of my strength is perfect in spite of my weakness. Lord, I am broken. My life is in peace. Your strength is perfect. Come on, God. God is not finished. Pour your heart out right now. God, I miss my time with you. God, oh God, oh God. There is an authority that every child of God can take and needs to take in their life. It is not the will of God at all that you should live your life bound and oppressed when you have freedom in Jesus' name. Come on, I want you to clap your hands if you're thankful for freedom. In Jesus' name. I walk in freedom. In Jesus' name. God has done more today in this service for some people than He has been perceived to have done in a very long time. Because there's something about an open mind and an open heart where you just let God in. Let him in. Let him in. When you let God in, if you need a healing, you'll get a healing. If you need deliverance, you'll get deliverance. You let God in, if you need the Holy Ghost, you'll get the Holy Ghost. But you just got to let him in. Let him in. It's so simple. So elementary. Let him in. 
God, I'm broken before you. I, I'm telling you, I, I don't, obviously, no way I'm preaching today. But if I were, if I were to have preached today, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you'll have to come back next Sunday to get it, which I want, please. Because you see the thread of it happening all over this sanctuary right now. All of it. There is so much that's happening in the Spirit. And, and God wants everybody to know here today, everybody, that He's not finished with you yet. Come on now. He's not finished with you yet. You ought to clap your hands and thank God for that. He's not finished with you yet. And we take authority over things. We take authority over circumstances. And we let God have his way. I know Brother Gary. Where's Brother Gary at? Is he still in here? Where you at, Brother Gary? Raise your hand. There you are. We, we, we want to pray for Brother Gary. Brother Gary's been up here with pains in his stomach pulled muscle or who knows what up here playing for the glory of God. I believe God wants to heal him. I believe God wants to heal him. Brother Koosman asked for prayer. Pains in his stomach. God wants to heal him too. In fact, why don't you two join hands right now and pray. Come on, pray right now. Everybody stretch your hands out towards these two brothers right now and pray in the name of Jesus. Come on. Stretch your hands out right now. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Come on, pray for him right now. God, we believe in healing right now. It is not the will of God for the people of God to go through this in Jesus' name. God, we're claiming it in the name of Jesus. Everybody shout healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for your healing. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Thank you. God, we know that you're a healer, God. We believe you, Lord. What I feel right now. If, if some of you ministers, wife, ladies want to come up here, I feel like we need to pray for Pastor and Sister Roni. There's an attack on our church. We know this. Everybody's going through it. But I feel right now that God's going to bless their lives and, and give them peace, give them strength. So if you want to come up and pray for some of you ladies, some of you ministers want to lay hands, let's lay hands on them right now. Come on, clap your hands to thank God for the miracle working power of God. I had, I talked to some pastor friends earlier this week, and I talked to them all the time. And, and every time I talk to them, there's always some kind of a thing. Everybody's got to, you know why? Because we're nearing the end time. All right, we're in the end time, just so everybody knows. And when churches have revival, the devil hates it devil hates for the church to have revival. But guess what? I didn't ask the devil if we could move out to Tony Lane. Well, thank you three people that believe that. I said I didn't ask the devil if we could move out to Tony Lane. I didn't ask the devil if we could grow our church. I didn't ask the devil if we could have revival. And I'm not going to ask the devil if I can be healed. I'm not going to ask him if I can be delivered. I wish somebody would help me right now. I didn't ask the devil to have a move of God today. You know what the devil sees, Brother Daniel? The devil sees this church having revival. All you got to do is pull up in this area and know that it's getting hard to find a parking spot. You know why that's happening? It's not because I'm so good looking. It's got nothing to do with me at all. 
It's got nothing to do with anything else other than the fact that God is blessing abundant faith, church. We are not perfect. Lord knows, Brother Tim, we got a truckload of problems. When you got people, you got problems. But I'm going to tell you what else we have. We have the anointing and the authority of the Holy Ghost. And that's why God's blessing us. God bless you. Please do not miss Wednesday evening. Please do not miss next Sunday. Greet one another in the name of the Lord and pray for one another. You're dismissed in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Amen. God bless you.